welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 today guys i'll be doing an updated predictions for the 2026 world cup so basically uh to give you guys some context here so basically after the end of the last world cup i basically did a predictions video on my channel for nations i think will make the world cup and a lot of my opinions back then look very outdated i needed to refresh and i needed to you know do some more research so i did my research i took the time and now i've come up with a good reasonable 48 nations pick now obviously i know i'll be able to please everyone i know i won't be able to i know everyone won't agree with my predictions but i think most of the predictions i make in this video are sensible and agreeable and i did pick some few surprises here and there so you know don't be surprised if i didn't pick your nation you know i'll explain why when i get to those different perspective different confederations so please run a like and subscribe of course really helps the channel grow and yeah like i said guys i'll leave in link in the description below to my original video anyways let's get on with the video so when we go into the, when we go into the AFC guys, for me the AFC was interesting because we typically have the best nations usually qualify for the AFC. Usually have you know their old format usually have the big five you know Australia, Iran, and Japan, Korea Republic, and Saudi Arabia. These are like the the big five you know, and I I do think they're they're going to qualify. And now it was interesting because when you look at the the next the next couple of nations, Iraq always mi nearly missed out. Qatar is one that nearly misses out. Uzbekistan as well. And UAE. These are the nations that always just about miss out on a regular basis, right? And I do feel like these nations are better than the rest. You know, some people are going to mention, what about Syria? What about Vietnam and uh, China, Bahrain? I just feel like these nations that I just mentioned are just not good enough. I'm sorry. I just don't think they're good enough for World Cup level. And I just feel like they're just a, they're just not as good as the rest, you know, um, and so I do think one of the big four is gonna, one of the big four is going to miss out though. I do think one of the big four is going to miss out, and I have a feeling it's going to be UE. I have a feeling it's going to be UE. I just don't think the UE team is. I just think the UE team is slowly starting to regress, and I'm not really a huge fan of what the team is going through, and I just don't really think UE is as good as it used to be. So yeah, sorry to say. And um, yeah, for Iraq, man, they're making the first World Cup. If they qualify for my predictions, it'll be the first World Cup for them since 1986. And for Uzbekistan, this will be obviously their World Cup debut if they do manage to qualify. And for Qatar, obviously they were there the last edition, so it'll be a second World Cup in a row. Next up, it is the CAF Confederation. Now, CAF is interesting because usually when we get a CAF, guys, usually there's one big nation from Africa that misses out, especially with the old format. You know, the last edition, Algeria missed out. Egypt missed out. Nigeria missed out. Now, with this CAF one, man, I have pretty much all the big ones. They're going to qualify. I was very tempted to not pick Ghana to qualify. Ghana was the... the Because for me, I'm almost confident with all these nations except Ghana. Ghana is the only one I wasn't really confident with. But I just have a feeling Ghana is going to just do the hard way. And they're going to make it through. But don't be surprised to see Ghana miss out. Because Ghana is a team that I have... I, I don't know what that team... The, the team is a... The, the team is just completely inconsistent, right? And I think Mali is going to make the World Cup debut, guys. Yes, I said it right here, guys. I think we're going to see a World Cup debutant from CAF. I was I was also maybe thinking about Burkina Faso, Equatorial Guinea, Cape Verde, Angola. These nations were so close. But I just feel like, for me, these nations are just going to miss out. And I just think Mali, for me, is going to do it. I think Mali is going to do it directly. And I think Ghana is going to barely squeeze by and get through that second place. But yeah, I mean, uh, we'll see, man. We'll see what happens because you know with CAF, there's going to be a surprise. Don't be surprised to see one nation you don't expect. Don't be surprised if you see one debutant. Potentially even two debutants. I think there could only be, I think, two debutants at most. I don't think we're going to see more than two debutants. But yeah, I'm going to go with uh, CAF is that. Moving on to CONCACAF. CONCACAF, we got the three hosts, you know, obviously Canada, uh, USA, Mexico, and then the other three nations I got is Costa Rica, Jamaica, and Panama. Yes, I don't have El Salvador. I don't have Honduras. Um, Honduras is a nation that, you know, qualified for the World Cups on a good basis, and I just don't think the team is that good anymore. And I think El Salvador, for me, is a complete shambles right now at the moment. They're absolute disarray. I don't know what's going on with the El Salvador Confederation. It just looks like a complete chaos mayhem like it's it's a complete shambles i i don't think El Salvador's going to do it and even though jamaica have been largely underperforming the last couple of years i think jamaica will finally do enough to qualify and you know f realize the full potential but don't be surprised if jamaica miss out because jamaica is one of those teams that 
have so much talent and they yet they underperform so much. So don't be surprised. But the other five, I'm pretty confident with. So Jamaica's the one I'm least confident with. Now we get to Condable. I think Condable is pretty straightforward. I think we're going to see Argentina make it. I think we're going to see Brazil make it. Colombia, Ecuador, Uruguay, Venezuela. Really, the only nation I had some little bit skepticism was was with Chile. But I do think Chile is a better team than Paraguay. I think Chile is better. So I'm going to say Chile just makes it through. But it's only just about by playoffs. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Paraguay do it. And then for you, and then for OFC, man, New Zealand. I don't think we're going to see other nations qualify from OFC. And then from UEFA, man, UEFA was tough. So this is why I came up with UEFA. And I picked some big nations from UEFA to miss out, by the way. I picked Austria. I really like Austria team. I think Austria is a very underrated team, especially their midfield is amazing. Belgium, I think, is going to make it. Croatia, I think, is going to make it. Denmark, I think, is going to make it. I was also thinking about maybe taking Denmark off, but I'll still keep them in. England, France, Germany. And then, yes, I have Greece. I have Greece to make it back. And by the way, guys, last time Austria made the World Cup was 1998. And for Greece, last time they made it was in 2014. I think Greece is going to make it. I've been really impressed with Greece. Hungary, the last time they made the World Cup was 1986. I want to see them back in a long time. I just really like the Hungary team. I think Italy is going to finally qualify for the World Cup <laughs> after some time. Netherlands, I think, is going to make it. Although, yeah, I think Portugal, I think, is going to make it. And yes, I have Scotland. I have Scotland to make it, man. Last time Scotland made it was in 1998. And then Spain, and then Switzerland, and then I have Ukraine. Ukraine, I have to make it. Last time they made the World Cup was 2006. So some honorable mentions go to nations like Serbia. Um, I was thinking about putting Serbia in, but I don't like how Serbia has been doing recently. They, they're Serbia is just they've they 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 there's they, also another team that just underperforms too much. Poland, I don't think Poland's going to do it anymore. I think Poland, especially with Lewandowski getting to his latter ages, latter stages of his career, I don't think he's going to do it. Wales, I don't think he's going to do it. I was also maybe thinking about putting um. Albania, that was also one I was maybe thinking making a World Cup debut, but I don't think Albania is going to, I think they're going to fall short. I was also maybe considering, um, yeah, I think those are the ones I'm going to uh, say, but yeah, I mean, it's tough what you wait for, man, because we're going to see one big nation miss out. You know, I was also thinking about maybe putting Norway in, but I don't think Norway is that good. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just tough, man. It's tough what you wait for, man. Okay, now we get to the playoffs. So playoffs, man, I got Solomon Islands. I think they're the second best team in OFC. I don't think they're going to make it, though. Chile, um, they're going to make it to the playoffs. El Salvador, Ghana, Honduras, and UAE. Uh, so I have Chile and Ghana to make it through. So, yeah, man, I picked some big exclusions. And, yeah, man, that's the beauty of the World Cup. Because, like I said, guys, that's going to be interesting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, man. Do you guys agree with my predictions? Do you guys disagree? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please run a like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.